All right, so this morning there wasn't a sunrise. I knew there wasn't going to be one. The weather forecasted clouds, so I didn't wake up to do the sunrise. But, so it's about eight o'clock now. This is where I'm going to go to. Lavender fields, once this focuses. There we go, that's where we're going to go to. Lavender fields. So, I'm going to head out there. Obviously it's going to be the middle of the day almost, about probably nine o'clock, 10 o'clock by the time I get there, depending on how many stops I make. So I'm not going to get the nicest photos. So I'm going to go out there, I'm going to put the infrared filter on and we're going to try a bit of infrared photography. I'm going to take you through the experience too. I've done it a little bit, I'm not really great at it. But I want to show you what I know and see what results we can get. Now the lavender is definitely not in full bloom. That doesn't happen until December or January, but they should still be quite green, which means it's going to reflect a lot of infrared light, which means we could get some cool shots, try and get some nice leading lines, some nice trees and stuff. Hopefully we'll get a couple of clouds just to sort of give some interest to the sky and we'll see how we go from there, guys. So let's get to it. It's not peak season. I was hoping for a bit of green in there so we could do some infrared and I think we still can but it's not really as green as I thought. See there's the fields. Got some more fields over there so we'll get the infrared filter on, we'll give it a try, we'll try and get some normal shots too. The sun's a little bit diffused so it's not as strong and you really want strong sunlight for infrared. But we'll see how we go, it just means slightly longer exposures but I've got the tripod with me like that um, we'll set up we'll see so let's try and find a composition I've got got the tree over there that could be a nice foreground or a background really I've also got the mountains back there you can already see there's some nice leading lines shooting through straight to the mountains this is some lines curving away so we'll wander through the field a little bit see how we go see what we can set up first composition is pretty much what's behind me so we've got nice leading lines just leading straight into the scene a little bit of a curve out give a bit of interest going to it and we've got that mountain in the background so probably put horizon on you know two-thirds up get this maybe we'll go for a vertical we'll get the um the portrait sort of view of it really exaggerate but as you can see there's nice red red soil here you know sort of a muted sort of greeny blue of the dead lavenders and all that and a nice blue mountain in the background a little bit of interest in the sky so we'll just probably go with the normal shot i might try the infrared as well we'll see how we go so let's set up all right so i set up here as you can see camera on tripod i got it in portrait mode i think that's going to work best i might try in landscape mode we'll see so we've got the horizon two thirds up we've got that peak there on the intersection of one third in so it should be quite nice we've got some nice straight leading lines leading towards it then it curves out and away so it should be pretty good so we're set up it's obviously quite sunny but that little bit of cloud and sort of misty cloudy cover is making it quite nice still and as i said we've got that nice contrast so it should be a nice nice color picture as well so set up iso 100 F10, it's pretty good. 
and one one sixtieth of a second which should give us a nice shot so let's see how it looks through the field it's really nice yeah it would have been nice if it was blooming and you know it's always nice to try and come you know in peak season peak season's peak season for a reason you know like in this instance it'd be lovely purple fields if you're going you know on your summer holidays or something you know it's perfect temperature to be in the water or you know activities and stuff but it's also quite nice to be somewhere when it's not peak season as you can see look all these fields it's just there's no one here there's a couple of tourists and stuff in the shop and that's about it but there's no one around and you know looking at photos and stuff peak season around here there's people everywhere so they're getting in the way this place is locked off at night and stuff and it's only open from nine till five or something so you're not always going to get that you, you're not really going to get that perfect sunrise or something unless you contact them or you know you're someone important so you're not always going to get that shot but you know in peak season there's a lot of people when there's not you know you got to work for the composition a bit more maybe because the colors aren't quite there but you've got all this to yourself and how great's that so guys i hope you enjoyed that and you liked the photos if you've got any comments or questions leave them below if you like this give it a thumbs up if you like this content and you want to see some more give me a subscribe and there'll be plenty of more content coming out thanks guys